is building a stable consumer group. Kasi alam naman natin, di ba, dito sa, dito sa Atomy or sa field kung nasan tayo ngayon, it's all about sharing. And of course, in sharing, we also do uh, selling. So selling selling the products, they're in, in a form of direct selling and sharing the benefits of the product so that we can build a stable consumer group. Or kung baga, ito yung mga downlines natin or yung mga members natin under our lineage. So ano-ano yung mga objectives natin? So first of all, this is to provide basic guide on how to establish a stable consumer group. So actually, tayo ay very, very, um, very, very lucky. Kasi nung nag-umpisa itong Atomy, wala silang mga guide na ganito. But then now, as the as Atomy progresses, parami, ng, parami yung mga nagiging members and Atomy is able to provide us a lot of um, a lot of guides on how we can build up or how can we can be successful here in Atomy. And then the next objective is to encourage partners that it, that it is possible to build a stable consumer group. Kasi, Diba, if you can uh, imagine, yung ibang tao, sasabi nila, ay, ang hirap naman yan kasi you have to find consumers and kailangan mong sabihin yung benefits benefits ng product sa kanila. And magkaroon lang sila ng isa or dalawang re- rejection, di give up na sila. So, ito yung mga tao na hindi nagtsatsaga. Yung basta may rejection lang, stop na sila. But then, they are not seeing the benefits of what Atomy can bring in the long run. Kasi di ba, una pa lang, we are already emphasizing to each and every one of us that the main advantage or the main goal of us why we do Atomy is to have residual income. So kung baga, ang residual income, hindi iyan basta-bastang natatanggap. Siyempre, sa lahat naman ng trabaho, kailangan pinaghihirapan natin. Like for example, sa trabaho natin, bago natin natanggap yung salary natin sa katapusan, kailangan muna natin magtrabaho 22 days a week, 40, uh, 22 days a month, 40 hours a week. ba? Diba? So, ganun din sa Atomy. Pero ang difference between working on a full-time job sa mga company and and uh, Atomy is, pag nabuild natin ang stable consumer group natin sa Atomy, magkakaroon tayo ng financial freedom o yung tinatawag natin na residual income. Sa trabaho naman natin, sa full-time job natin, Yes, we are earning per month. Nagkakaroon tayo din ng bonus per year. Pero, pag hindi naman tayo magtatrabaho, wala tayo sa sanggulay. Right? And the last objective is to provide a bird's eye, uh, bird's eye view guide for a feasible 15-day challenge towards promotion. So, actually, itong third topic na to, um, i-discuss natin yan the next week. So, this is what we call the Law 133. So, ito yung guide kung paano tayo magkakaroon ng 15-day challenge or yung mastership challenge natin, promotion. Iisa-isahin natin yan, magkocompute tayo, but then this topic is for next week. Ang i-discuss natin mamaya is yung uh, additional incentive na pinoprovide ng Atomy UK for sales mastership ship challenge for the period of December 16 to 31 this year. Now, ano-ano ba yung basic guides na kailangan natin um, gamitin or gawin to be able for us to succeed here in Atomy? So, one of the basic guides is what we call the eight steps to success. Actually, if you search on Channel Atomy of UK of the Philippines or the official YouTube channel of Atomy Philippines, Atomy UK, Atomy Canada, lahat ng Atomy, meron itong eight steps to success. Uh, also on my YouTube channel, I have these eight steps to success. So if you want to learn more about these eight steps to success, simply go to YouTube or to the official uh, official channel Atomy of uh, Atomy. So ano ano ba yung eight steps to success? Hindi ko na siya elaborate for now. So number one is dream. Number two is determination. Number three is make a list. So make a list of people that you wanted to invite or introduce Atomy products with. Then, of course, you have to do the invitation part so that you can um, member, mapamember nyo yung mga ini-invite nyo from the list that you have made. And pag nagustuhan nila yung product, um, of course, you have to present the company. Ano ba yung magiging incentive nila when they do the business uh, business plan 
or they become a distributor like us as well. The number six, of course, we have to continuously follow up. Because the main thing or uh, the main, the main, uh, yung pinaka importante nagagawin natin dito sa Atomy is the follow up. Because, for example, nagintroduce tayo ng beauty product. It doesn't stop there. Kasi kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung naging effect ng beauty product sa kanya or if she needs some advice or kung ano-ano pa yung mga products na pwede nating i-recommend for her continuous beautification. Then kailangan din natin ng consultation. As I've said, it's like, so this is like follow-up. So kailangan natin ng constant consultation kasi ang Atomy is a long-term business. So, hindi siya one-time business lang na after mabentahan natin or ma-introduce natin ng products yung ibang tao, stop na dun. So, that is not atomy. So, we always have to do consultation. And the last one, which is also the most important one, is the duplication. So, tayo, lahat ng natututunan natin right now, lahat ng mga experience natin sa products, we have to duplicate it to our future members. Sa mga downlines natin or to all the people that we wanted to Uh, introduce Atomy with. Kasi pag natutunan nila lahat ng natutunan natin right now, they will be able to duplicate themselves to others as well. And ano yung magiging main benefit nun? Ang magiging be main benefit nun is more residual income for us. Dun sa mga taong nag-invite ng mga new members na na-duplicate natin yung sarili natin sa kanila. The next one, isa pang basic guides for success dito sa Atomy is what we call the Daily Eight Core. So if you uh, have heard about my presentation about the Daily Eight Core, uh, actually dati hindi ko siya ginagawa. But when I found out the benefits of having a habit, uh, this will improve your capacity in doing Atomy Business more uh, positively. Kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng good or positive habits. So ano-ano ba yung Daily Eight Core? So number one is read books. So, read books like 10 minutes a day. Hindi mo kailangan basahin yung buong libro. Watch VOD. So, video on demand ng Atomy so that we can have additional learnings. Attend meetings and seminars like this. Kasi libre, libre naman ito eh. ba? Diba? So, pag umaten tayo ng meeting, we can have uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of knowledge that we can easily share to other people as well. Doon sa mga potential members natin. Then, of course, use Atomy products. So, the more Atomy products we use, the more, um, the more knowledge of the products we will have. Kasi tayo mismo yung gumagamit ng products, so alam natin kung ano yung benefit ng products or effect ng products sa atin. Then, after, uh, if nagustuhan nila yung mga Atomy products, nung mga ikaw, kung nagustuhan mo yung Atomy products, and in introduce mo yan sa ibang tao, then that's the time that you have to show the plan. So, ano, ano, ano itong plan na to? So, this plan is what we call the Atomy Business Platform. So, kailangan natin i-introduce din yan sa ibang tao so that, again, they can be distributors or business partners like us. So, mas madali nating mabibuild yung consumer base natin. Then, number six is share the product, sell and deliver. So, as I've said, Uh, pag mas marami tayong products na ginagamit, mas madali nating ma-share yung benefits ng products sa ibang tao. The number seven is counseling and consultation. So, hindi nagtatapos sa pag-sell and deliver ng products and share the benefits of the product to everyone. We have to continuously do counseling and consultation. So, we have to be like uh, the customer service. Kasi kung meron, kasi this is our own shopping mall. We own our own shopping mall. So, every time merong mga Merong mga concerns or some clarifications yung mga customers natin, those people who bought from our shopping mall, we have to be responsible for that. So, kailangan natin i-answer or kailangan natin magbigay ng guide para dito sa mga consumer natin. And number eight is the most important one. So, build relationship with your partners, with your consumers, and trust. So, build trust. Kasi... Ang Atomy is a long-term business. If we will not be able to build relationship and build trust with our partners, we will not be able to succeed in Atomy. Kasi Atomy is also a people business. And when you are with a lot of people, if there is no trust and there is no relationship, forget it. So we will just stay where we are right now. But if we know how to, uh, how to mingle 
or magkaroon tayo ng good relationship with our business partners, for sure, we will all meet at the top. So everyone has to be open-minded in building the relationship and building trust. Now, uh, bago tayo magkaroon ng um, consumer group, stable consumer group, kailangan nating mag-prepare. So, itong prepare, it stands for uh, different, it, it has different meaning. Bawat letter ng prepare has different meaning. So, ano-ano yon? So, P, P from prepare is put your heart into it or love what you do. Kasi imagine, if ever, uh, yes, you wanted to do Atomy because you wanted to do to have residual income, pero hindi mo naman gusto yung ginagawa mo. So, parang it is against your will. Right? Pero kung gusto mo ang ginagawa mo, at uh, masayang-masaya ka sa pag-i-introduce ng Atomy products or Atomy business sa ibang tao, then you will really enjoy the journey here in Atomy. So, tandaan natin, ang Atomy business is not a race. So, this is the, this is a journey. So, lahat ng ginagawa natin, we have to cherish it, we have to love what we do, and we have to not rush. Right? Kasi pag nag-rush tayo, um, and we experience a lot of rejections, Lahat ng pinaghirapan natin mawawala kasi we will end up being exhausted. And yung R naman from prepare is reach out. So as we have a um, one global ID, we can have a lot of consumers, potential consumers, potential business partners or business partners locally and globally. So ibig sabihin, hindi porkit uh, physically situated, situated tayo dito sa Belgium, sa Belgium lang ang market natin. That's not the case. Kasi Atomy is already open to 20 plus countries. So lahat ng mga countries where Atomy is open, we can already approach these people kung may kakilala kayo and pwede na natin silang i-member from the system. And when they want to try the products, they can easily purchase from the website and uh, the products will be delivered straight to their home. So, in reaching out locally or globally, kailangan din nating mag-set ng daily goals. So, ano-ano ba yung mga daily goals? Kung hari, sa isang araw, gusto nyong i-follow yung eight, uh, daily eight core. Ako, ang goal ko per day is to follow up five members, uh, five members and to give education to a lot of members globally. So, ako yung nag adjust ng time ko kasi... Alam naman natin, when we say globally, it is also it also has different time zones. Alright? So, ina-adjust ko yung sarili ko so that I can educate other members and I can um, and I can duplicate myself to others. Kasi pag na-duplicate ko na yung sarili ko sa ibang tao, mas madali na mabibuild ko ang consumer base ko. Kasi ganun din ang gagawin nila katulad ng ginagawa ko. Kasi we have our we have our main goal. Ang main goal natin is to have passive or residual income. Now, uh, also, when you do your goals, syempre, to be, to be effective, para magawa natin yung goals natin, kung nga mag approach tayo ng limang tao, member tayo ng limang tao per day, we have to get out of our comfort zone. Big word, di ba? Pero mahirap. Kasi lalo na yung mga mahiyain. Alam natin na lahat tayo dito, meron tayong sari-sariling characteristics and meron tayo sari-sariling uh, comfort zone. Ako, to be honest, when I was still working in the office, um, my comfort zone, comfort zone was my work. Kasi gustong-gusto ko talagang magtrabaho. Every time na happy ako, every time na sad ako, I tend to work. Minsan hindi ko na napapansin 16 hours na pala ako nagtatrabaho but kasi I enjoyed it and that was my comfort zone. Pero dito sa Atomy, I've seen a lot of people, different characteristics. Alam nyo, dito lang ako sa Atomy, umiyak talaga ng todo. As in, ang daming rejections. But I did not give up. Why? Because I got out of my comfort zone. Kasi kung mag stay ka lang sa comfort zone mo, without even trying na i-reach mo yung pinaka-limit ng sarili mo, you will stay where you are. Believe me. Pero kung lumabas ka sa comfort zone mo and you tried your best to be successful here in Atomy, for sure, in no time, you will reach the top and you will have what we what we call the residual income. So if I were you, I know mahirap tayong makaalis sa comfort zone natin, but at least try. 
kausapin niyo yung sarili niyo in front of the mirror every night. What what do I need to uh, ano ba yung mga weaknesses ko? Ano ba yung mga positive traits ko? And how can I have my weaknesses become a positive trait so that I can battle my own self? Kasi ang comfort zone natin is our own self. Once we think about something that uh, hindi natin kaya, yung katawan natin, susunod na lang yan. Sasabihin na lang, sasabihin kasi ng isip natin sa katawan natin, ay hindi ko to kaya, ay natatakot ako. But when you put positive trait or positive saying on your mind that I will do it, doon nyo mararanasan na kaya nyo palang gawin. You just have to get out of your comfort zone. Now, the next one from prepare is engage. So, of course, you have to be interested in your leaders or partners or consumers' world. Kasi dito sa Atomy, we have to build trust. And of course, we have to also adapt to what, what other people's interests are. Kasi this is a long-term business. If we are not interested to someone else's, uh, kung ano man yung ginagawa nila, for example, um, they wanted to watch Korea novela or something like that, of course, we have to give our insight as well. Kahit hindi natin gusto yon, we have to at least show our engagement with them. Kasi this is also one way on how we can build trust with our leaders, partners, and consumers. So we have to really engage ourselves as well. Learn how to um, learn how to adjust ourselves to become uh, interested in something that we don't like. Of course, hindi natin gusto yun, kaya hindi tayo interesado. But then maybe, who knows, magiging interested din pala tayo in the long run. We just have to teach ourselves. Then, the P for prepare is what we call press on. So, dito sa atomy, mahirap. So, I told myself, I give myself three to five years of hard work, hard work sacri- sacrifice, and perseverance. Three to five years. Yes, it's long. Pero after five years of hard work, sacrifice, and perseverance, I will have my financial freedom, freedom of time, and I will live to the fullest. Diba? Pero kung nagtatrabaho tayo, until we get to 65, doon lang tayo titigil. But then, imagine kung nasa 50 years old na tayo ngayon. And we will just allot 5 years of hard work, 55. We already have our financial freedom. Unlike sa work natin, we will still wait 15 years before we can really sit down, relax, and just read a newspaper in front of the beach. Right? So, Ngayon pa lang gawin natin yung sacrifice nito kasi this sacrifice that we're doing right now has a lot of benefits for us in the future, not only for us but also to our future generation. The number uh then letter A is assess. So sincerely discover the following: what, why, how and where. So alam niyo sa mga bagong members, we cannot assume kasi hindi pa natin sila kilala. Right, so we have to know what what is their um what 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 do they want? Bakit nila ginagawa ang atomy and why do they need atomy and how can they do atomy and where can they do atomy? Right, because tayo as leaders as business partners, kailangan nating iguide yung mga uh, bago nating business partners. Because atomy has a baby philosophy. So ibig sabihin, Yung mga bago nating members, they are babies. So, di ba ang babies, tinutulungan natin uh, maglakad, hinahawakan natin before they can do it on their own. So, all the new members also has this. So, kailangan tutulungan natin sila to start so that they can easily have their uh, lineage established as well. So, tutulungan natin sila like babies. And when they become independent, they can also do the same as what how we did it with them. And also, Alam nyo, uh, minsan, ito yung napapansin ko sa mga bago. Minsan, uh, iniisip nila, ay, ito, walang pera to, walang pambili to. But we don't know. So, kailangan natin i-assess muna. We cannot, we cannot judge a book by its cover, sabi nga nila. So, kailangan, alamin muna natin kung ano ang capacity ng ibang tao before we can actually say something. Right? Kasi hindi pa natin alam. Hindi natin kilala ang isang tao for the first time that we meet this person. So we really have to assess and evaluate. So the next one is to reevaluate. Reevaluate yourself first, then the whole team. So katulad ng sinasabi, nyo, sinasabi ko kanina, 
uh, we should get out of our comfort zone and reevaluate ourselves. Ano ano ba yung mga weaknesses natin that we can easily turn it into positive, uh, into strength, so that when we re- re-evaluated ourselves, pag nalaman na natin yung weaknesses natin and alam na natin yung mga um, yung mga strengths natin, we can easily pass it to the team and reassess the whole team's effort. Kasi dito sa Atomy, when you want to succeed, you have to be a team player. So kailangan natin na we know how to be part of the team. Kasi if I, myself, or we, ourselves, don't know who who are we, hindi rin natin alam kung paano makisama sa ibang tao. And ang pakikisama dito sa Atomy is very important, very crucial. Kasi kung hindi tayo marunong makisama, yes, you can succeed, of course. Who knows, right? But it will be mabagal. But then, when you know how to be part of the team, how to be a team player, mas mabilis yung pagiging successful mo dito sa Atomy. And plus, all your team are happy with each and everyone's success. So lahat tayo magiging successful if we are a true team player. So, kumbaga, kumbaga hindi tayo selfish. So that's the word, right? Hindi tayo selfish. Dapat alam natin kung paano maging team player. Then the letter E from prepare is empower. So what you learn, teach and pass on to your leaders, partners, mm-hmm. and consumers. Make sure that we pass on the right atomy system. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, duplication is a very, very important uh, thing to do here in Atomy. Kasi for example, kung, kung ang isang tao ay nag-uumpisa pa lang sa Atomy, kung hari, sampung members pa lang, and tinuturuan niya yun isa-isa everyday, eh paano pag yung members umabot na ng 800? Di ba, hindi mo nakakayanin yung mag-isa. So, kailangan, i-duplicate mo yung sarili mo so that you can, this person na nag-duplicate mo ng sarili mo can easily pass this on to other people as well. So, mas mabilis ang magiging uh, progress ng business natin kung marunong tayong mag-duplicate. So, if I were you, uh, kailangan manood kayo ng videos every day and practice on how to present the company. Practice on how to present the uh, the products. So, basahin yung lahat ng specifications ng products natin. And then, when you are knowledgeable enough, tapos ginamit niyo pa yung product, alam niyo kung paano siya ipipresent sa ibang tao. So, I encourage every one of us to uh, present also on our meetings like this. So, yung Tuesday meetings natin, I encourage you to present. Kasi dito tayo makakalabas sa comfort zone natin. Kala natin sa umpisa, hindi tayo marunong mag-present, pero kulang lang pala tayo sa push kaya pala natin, masyado lang natin dina-downgrade yung sarili natin. Right? Kasi everyone has their own potential. Hindi lang natin alam sa ngayon. Kasi we are afraid to discover. ba? Ako dati, uh, I don't know my potential. Alam nyo, I was a shy type person. I couldn't even present in front of everyone. But then, when someone told me, oh, RJ, you should get out of your comfort zone. And this person helped me to really get out of the com- comfort zone. Every day talaga kami nag-uusap because this person wanted me to succeed and to know my potential. Kasi once you know your potential, you are gonna be unstoppable. I tell you, you are gonna be unstoppable. But you have to, kailangan nyo talagang hilahin yung potential na yan. And you need the team to do that. You need, we need everyone, everyone's encouragement para ma-empower natin ng isa't isa. Kasi kung hindi tayo magtutulong-tulungan, kung napaka-selfish natin sa ibang tao, we will not be able to succeed. So kailangan talaga natin na tayo yung mag-lift up sa isa't isa to become successful dito sa atin.